Rachel again coming live from Literacy Mid-South. Welcome back to day two of reading our book, The Noisy Paint Box. Do you remember what happened? Who was the main character in this story? Vache, you're correct. Now, where did this story take place? What was the setting of the story? It started off in his house, that's right. Do you know if there was a problem? Let's talk about the problem. Oh, someone said his aunt gave him a noisy paint box. Do you agree? So let's think for a moment. One of our words was abstract. Abstract. Seeing colors and shapes. It's an art piece seeing colors and shapes. Next, we have ancient, which is something of the old or something that is in the past. Remember my grandmother's brooch? Very old, back in the day. Our next word is crimson. Do you remember what crimson is? That's right, that dark red, that dark red. This is my Go Red for Women pen. Proper, the correct way to do things. Remember I showed you my eyeglasses yesterday and I put them on wrong? Is that the way I'm supposed to wear them? <laughs> no, this is the proper way for me to wear my eyeglasses. And our last vocabulary word was stiff. Remember, Miss Rachel's pencil is very stiff. It won't move. It is, even if I try to move it, it isn't. So again, when you hear those words today, boys and girls, I want you to clap your hands, snap your fingers, whoop your nose, whatever you plan on doing, but make sure I can identify that you hear our vocabulary words. So let's get back. Let's think about what happened with Vashti and this noisy paint box. And Vashti was never quite as proper again. He quit his job teaching law and moved from Moscow to Munich to be a painter. So can you imagine, what do you think his parents thought when he stopped teaching law, he went to law school to now becoming a painter. He studied with this famous teacher, then that one. Is it a house? Is it a flower? What is it supposed to be, his teacher asked. Now think about that, where have he heard those questions before? That's right, his family asked him those same questions when he was young, when he first got the paint box. Vashe wanted to paint the colors he heard, but maybe the famous teachers knew best. Once again, Vashe put houses and flowers, animals and people into his paintings, just like everyone expected. The teachers were happy. Vashe was not. So he seems to be making everyone else happy with their decisions, but he's not happy. His artist friends understood. They too were tired of painting pretty landscapes and pretty ladies. They thought art needed to change. Art should make you feel, Vache told them, like music. Exactly, said his friends, but none of them knew how to paint feelings until the day Vache grew brave enough and invited the world to see the paintings roaring from his noisy paint box. So he had some friends that thought like him. They wanted to paint things that they felt, not perfect pictures like houses, flowers, and landscapes. Wow, let's look at this picture. Look here. Do you see tons of colors and shapes? I see some words on here as well. Now, do you think Vache should have continued to make his teachers happy or to make himself happy? Yes, I agree. He should have made himself happy. Do you think that's what he did? Possibly. Now, how do you think the world is going to react to his paintings? Do you think they're going to love his paintings or think he needs to go back to the proper way of doing things, drawing landscapes, houses, and flowers? Hmm. 
interesting. Let's see. Let's see what is going to be next. I see hiss on here. And remember, he heard that hiss. Rattle, bash, whistle, murmur, clang, zip. Snapping cerulean points. Crunching crimson squares. You heard the word crimson. I saw you. Whispering charcoal lines. Vache named these paintings after the music he loved. Improvisation. Composition. Accompaniment. Fugue. Movement. And simply three sounds. With his noisy paint box, Vache Condensi created something entirely new. Abstract art. So remember what abstract is. Colors and shapes. Do you think that his colors are loud or do you think they're quiet or a combination of both? Okay, could be a combination of both. I agree. It took a long time for people to understand. Is it a house? Is it a flower? What is it supposed to be? It's my art, Vashe answered. How does it make you feel? So now the world is actually looking at his art. Now, do you think Vache finally accepted himself for who he was? Creating abstract art? I think he did. And what was the question he asked? How does it make you feel? So think about this art piece here. How does this artwork make you feel? What do you see? What do you feel? Do you even hear anything? Let's talk more tomorrow. This was part two of the Noisy Paint Box. I look forward to seeing you on tomorrow, boys and girls. Signing off from Literacy Mid-South.